Good, uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to His Majesty King Abdullah and to the World Economic Forum for their kind invitation to participate in this highly relevant forum. It is really a great honor to be here with all of you today. His Majesty knows very well uh, of the long and friendly relations that have always been shared by the Kingdom of Spain and the Kingdom of Jordan. We've always been very close, so close that we always consider our respective royal families as friends and family. So it is a great privilege to be here together with Your Majesty and Queen Rania to be part of the opening ceremony of the World Economic Forum and especially this time here in the Jordan Valley. So first of all, I would like to congratulate you, Your Majesty, on your leadership for making this, again, a key moment for one of the most important debates on the Middle East and North Africa that has taken place in the world. It is also a great opportunity to be here with all the heads of state and government, ministers and representatives of all the different international organizations, and also to meet many business and civil society leaders from all of the regions. But I would also like to highlight the fact that this edition has a very interesting title, Enabling a Generational Transformation. We just had the special opportunity of hearing this morning uh, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein Abdullah talking about what it means to be a young man today. I think it was very important to have the participation of the young prince in this forum because he's representing the next generation. We have to work today and tomorrow for that generation in order to provide them with a greater hope and opportunities for a better future in the region. So thank you, Your Highness, for your words, and thank you, Your Majesties, for making us witness of his strong commitment. One of the constant ambitions of uh, the Spanish foreign policy has always been to foster the cooperation between Europe and both the Middle East and the North African countries. My presence, my presence here today is a testimony of how much we consider this forum an important part and a unique opportunity to keep on working in this cooperation. In 2011, my father, King Juan Carlos, came here and was also part of this forum. But since then, so many things have changed in the world, especially in this region. We are facing a very serious crisis that is challenging the foundations of world order. And we need improvements and transformation, for sure. And we need to understand the most important of principles, the independence of states, the respect of human rights, the benefits of free trade and mobility of persons. In my country also, many things have happened. We have overcome the, mo the, the worst part of a very serious economic crisis. And this has been possible thanks to the efforts of the men and women and the institutions of the country. The Spanish economy is growing at a good pace and we're still working on creating employment. So I'm very pleased to be here today, ready to improve our cooperation with our partners in the Middle East looking for a better future for all of our children. I'm fully convinced that if we join forces with determination, especially with our brothers and sisters from the Mediterranean area in the West and the East, we will be able to understand our true potential and we will be able to look towards the future with optimism. And we can tell our young people that it is possible and it's worth the effort and there is hope, and we are taking on our responsibility. We're doing the best we can. My dear friends from Jordan, 
Jordan is definitely setting a good example and showing us the way. How are they doing that? Well, first, they are behaving with generosity. They are hosting a huge number of refugees. People that once again have been tragically forced to leave their homes because of war. They are brave as well. They are leading the fight against those who are who just believe in terror and represent a common enemy to us all. And finally, they are defending a message of peace, dialogue and sustainable development. Your Majesty, we thank you for working so hard in this tradition of generosity, tolerance and bravery. But it's not just that. Jordan is an example of constructive engagement with the international community. In Spain, we know it well. We highly appreciate the commercial trade bilateral ties that we have and our determination to improve our economic cooperation. Spanish companies are here to stay. They wish to be a part of the future of this country as well. And they are present in Jordan, especially in the energy sector, but in other areas like water treatment and transport infrastructures. The World Economic Forum is a great opportunity to share views and experiences, to work all together, governments, civil society, private sector, to create the economic and social conditions that will allow us to have a stronger prosperity. In the world today, security is something that we all need. We're constantly trying to provide it in an effective way. We cannot isolate the threats or the challenges that we are facing. We cannot deal with them on our own because they are everywhere. They travel faster. They ignore na uh, nations and boundaries. So we really should move ahead and find powerful ways to share prosperity and to cooperate more efficiently in economic and social development so that we can work for a long-term common security. There are opportunities in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, there are. There is clearly a new revolution that emerges from information and technological advances that can drive creativity. There is also a new generation, well prepared and open to the world, ready to work and to work hard for a better future. Let us accept the challenge of a new Mediterranean area of the Middle East region to understand that this is also a space for prosperity. There's a lot of hard work ahead of us. We need to do it. There are many obstacles, there are inequalities, ignorance, extremism, but we can do it if we do it all together. And we owe it to the new generation that cannot accept the past at the end of hope in the way to the future. Millions of young people are dreaming today of a better future, of a better tomorrow. They are uh, right now probably just making up in their minds their own projects. Renewable energies, education technologies, biomedical research, sustainable tourism. Here in Barcelona, in Amman, in Cairo, in Casablanca, there's probably a young man or a young woman thinking about building their first startup or to finish their graduate studies or how to establish a small business or how to improve his or her professional skills. They cannot wait for us to solve all the problems because they need to leave now. One thing that we know is that education plays a key role in all of this. It is clear that youth unemployment is a problem for all of us. All the countries here today have the same problem. There is a lack of opportunities and this creates anger and frustration. So we need to have the right policies to foster youth empowerment. And this is not an easy task. This is why a World Economic Forum is the perfect place to share best practices and ideas. Schools, universities, research institutions can unleash the potential of our people. And they need to be 
at the core of our policy making so that we can stand the limits of what we can achieve. International cooperation can favor student mobility between our countries. We should have better policies to increase the potential uh, of these young people so that they will find a job and that will create a social contract better for all of us. The future is these young boys and girls. And every time young people from different countries meet, no matter if they do it in the field of science, business, or just as friends, something magical happens. This helps us to get the future that we want for us and for our children. This is why we believe that our, area, uh, our countries in the South, including the Middle East, will become, maybe not today, but certainly tomorrow, one of the most dynamic places in the world. Your Royal Highness, you are here representing young people, but also you are here representing hope. And you have your father as a very good example of how to do things right. So, um, I would like to say so much more things, but I don't want to take too much of your time. It is important to understand a little bit more about where I come from. My country, Spain, with a long history behind, still looks towards the future with optimism. We want to be part of a stronger and better European Union, based on the respect for human dignity and also on the conviction that together, united, we're all stronger. We want to work together with the whole world and with our friends in the Middle East and North Africa and to seize the opportunities that there are out there. And someone didn't turn off their mobile phones, but that's okay because our youth is ready. Our companies are prepared for international expansion and we are better prepared now than ever. So I will ask all of you to join forces with us to defend our values because together we can build a future of peace and inclusive development. And I wish all of you to have a great meeting here at the World Economic Forum. Thank you, Jordan. And I would like again to thank you, Your Majesty.